Hey, Principal, uh, Mr. Hampton, you're you're muted. Thank you so much. You're awesome. always looking out for me. I'm just kind of practicing right now. And but thank you for letting me know. We'll get started here pretty quick, though. Good to see you guys. It's awesome. Hi, Mr. Hampton. Hi, Isabella. I'm glad you're getting on here. Getting on here. Hello. Friday. Hello. 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 Hi, Haley.
So if you want to make one still, that'd be great, but if not, that's okay too. I want to, well, I'm trying to get her, her, Nat, Emily's little, Emily's uh, little show here. Okay. I'm on mute. Okay, so I unmute it. Are you trying to share? Well, no, I'm just trying to get on it. So how do we get on it here? You're trying to. Well, she just said. Are you sharing the screen or something? No, I just got the. OK, we'll start again. I got the email from your mom.
Good evening and welcome to our second annual DAR show. And it's great to see so many faces out there. Um, I'm Mr. Hampton, your proud principal, and I get the honor of emceeing this year, but I have a little surprise for you. If you remember, okay, raise your hand to yourself. Remember who was our MC for last year's? If anybody remembers that, do you guys remember? He has granddaughters, a granddaughter that goes to school here. And do you guys remember Mr. Malone? He is gonna, I, I called him and he is gonna help out this year. And he barely made it home because he's the big superintendent of Mossy Rock School District, but he made it home and he's gonna work on getting on so that we can share the MC duties tonight. So make sure that uh, yeah, you listen carefully through this and we'll get started right now. So again, it's great to see there's 75 people on, which is so cool. And I'm so proud of our Desi Evans Owls. Okay, so let me get started with this. So welcome to the second edition of the Owl Star Show. Without a doubt, this year will be different, a different show, obviously, but it will give us many more possibilities to have the family and friends in this virtual show. Again, I'm Mr. Hampton, your proud principal, and Mr. Mal Dr. Malone will be your other MC, and he's probably a lot better than I am because he practiced at least last year, but he's also a really good friend of mine, and so we're going to have fun going back and forth for sure. Please remember this one. This is very important. Please stay muted the, the whole show, but feel free to cheer on all of our uh, candidates or all of our uh, star show uh, uh, students uh, through the chat box. Okay, you did a great job or you're awesome. They love to read that, okay, and how you feel, but only positive comments. But I know I don't have to say that very much because you guys are all so awesome and you're positive every day. And our job is just to make their star show because it takes a lot of uh, courage to stand up and to do this and to work so hard. And these performers are gonna get nothing but positives from us. So let's get started. Mr. Malone, are you on? Can you jump on and say hi? Maybe not yet. He'll jump on. I, when I, I am. There he is. I am. Hey, boys and girls, I'm super excited for tonight. I just rolled into my house from Mossy Rock. I work out in Mossy Rock, so I'm a little, little behind uh, Mr. Hampton, but I'm going to try my best to help him out. And I love it. Cheer on tonight's Owl Star. Who are those good looking people behind you? One looks like you. But, well, there's one. There's me and my little, my little owl. Uh, I love it. Got, yeah. So that's uh that's e Eva. She's oh, a third. Eva, we love Eva. She's awesome. Yeah, she's a, she's a third grader. So yeah, okay. they're at, uh, well, we so. have a, a, quite a show for them tonight, don't we? It's going to be awesome. I can't Great. wait for it. Okay, well, so can count. I get started with the first one? You can. You go ahead, Mike. Awesome. Thank you, you again for being on, and thanks for everybody who is for all seventy-six of us. Thank you so much for being here. <coughs> Excuse me. So for our first candidate. She is a fourth grader. She loves to sing and play volleyball and basketball. She is a one and only. And tonight she is singing for us Perfect Harmony from her favorite TV show, Julie and the Phantoms. Welcome to the stage, Miss Grace Miller. Whoop, whoop. Step into my world Bittersweet love story about a girl Shook me to the core Voice like an angel I've never heard before Here in front to me Shine so much better than I've ever seen. Life can be so mean. But when he goes, I know he doesn't leave. 
the truth is finally breaking through to worlds collide when I'm with you. Our voices rise and soar so high we come to life when we're in perfect harmony. Oh, 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 Together is more than chemistry. Love me as I am. I'll hold your music here inside my hands. We say we're friends, we play pretend. You're more to me, we're everything. Our voices rise and we soar so high. We come to life when we're. In perfect harmony, oh, 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 perfect harmony, oh, 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 perfect harmony, oh, 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 perfect harmony. Wow. That was amazing, Grace. Way to go! Fantastic. Hey, you know, you know what, Mr. Mr. Hampton. Grace and the dress was stunning. Yeah. Nice. Well, it, and you know what, Mr. Hampton, she plays basketball too. If she plays basketball half as good as she sings, you're in trouble. Oh boy, we're talking uh, uh, WNBA now. No, no yeah. doubt about it. Great job, Grace. Great Mr. job. Hey, you know, you know who's up next? Uh, he's, yes, a, he, he, he's a he's a first grader with okay. Miss Radcliffe. Ms. Radcliffe, and he will recite two poems for us tonight, yes. The Hat and the Boa Constrictor. We want to welcome to the stage Lincoln Walters. Let's hear it for Lincoln. Come on out, Lincoln. Let's, let's... Nice work, buddy. He's on his way. He's probably getting his voice ready for the big, po big poetry. By Cell Stilvelstein. Hat. Teddy said it was a hat, so I put it on. Now Dad's saying, Where in the heck is the toilet plunder gone? <laughs> Bow Constrictor by Cell Stilvelstein. Oh, I'm being eaten by a boa constrictor, a boa constrictor, a boa constrictor. I'm being eaten by a boa constrictor, and I don't like it. One bit, well, what do you know that's nibbling my toe? See, it's up to my knee. Oh my, it's up to my thigh. Oh, Phil, it's up to my middle. Oh, heck, it's up to my neck. Oh, Jazz, it's up to my... Well, I hope he's okay. Wow, nice. Was... nice. Nice job, Lincoln. Oh, that was Lincoln well, Walters. Well, you know, the boa constrictor is my favorite. Shell Silverstein. Way to go, Lincoln. Hey, who's up next, Mr. Hampton? I would love to read the next one. This girl is in sixth grade, Mr. Malone. She likes to play Roblox and sing. She started riding a two-wheeler with no training wheels, and she learned to ride a bike only at the age of two. Tonight, wow. in reflection from the movie Mulan, welcome to the stage, Alyssa Thompson. Let's go, Alyssa. Bring it.
Alyssa, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that was absolutely amazing. <laughs> amazing. Holy smokes. Have you, how many times have you watched Mulan, Mr. Hampton? Oh, I've seen it a couple of times. I, 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 that sounded just like it. The, it like when you're, watch, when you're watching it. Yes. Way to go. Mr. Well, it's, I need to make one simple request, okay? And everybody that's watching today, all 86 of you, I'm going to ask that nobody draws on the screen and that if you would like to pay a compliment to our amazing stars tonight, write it in the chat. But we're going it's, to... All, we're going to leave all marks off the screen and enjoy the show. Okay, so be great, Desi Evans Owls, and make sure we follow along with that too. And make sure you stay muted. Okay, Mr. Malone, would you like? Yeah, to that that would be the owl way, being respectful. Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You bet. So, hey, next up is our next performer is a first grader as well. Her her hobby. We're on number four, right? Her hobby is crafting. She's a professional model with Seattle Models Guild. She will sing for us tonight the song, All Is Found, from the movie Frozen 2. Welcome to the stage, Riley Inner. Is that, how do you say your last name, Mr. Hampton? Inra. Inra. It's Riley. Riley Inra, welcome to the stage. Good job. We are excited to see this one. Holy smokes, that was beautiful. Yes, great job. Man. Riley. That was amazing. Wow. Uh, what were you ever singing in front of a uh, 50 people or 94 people when you were a first grader, Mr. Hampton? No chance, Mr. Malone. No chance whatsoever. <laughs> that's why these kids have so much courage and they're amazing. And did that's, a good job. can I take that? You bet that that's what we call owl stars right there. That's that's an owl star. Owl stars. And we are a number. Five. Number five. How about this next one, Mr. Malone? She's a bundle of joy and energy who can make friends wherever she goes. She's the youngest of five Ooh. girls and all play the piano. Tonight she'll be playing for us, Softly Whisper. Welcome to the stage, Emily Connor. Woohoo! Let's go, Emily.
great job. Holy wow, that was amazing. Have you ever you, you, to play piano like that? That's like real piano playing with both hands doing different things. That's hard. That's amazing. And you know, <laughs> I think she's practiced a lot. You can tell she's worked really yeah. hard. Yes, she has. Congratulations, Emily. Way to go. Hey, this next performer, she's an extra extrovert and has the most amazing imagination and creativity. She loves crafting, sewing, and crocheting. It's our next fifth grader will sing Snowman from Sia tonight. Welcome, Eloise and Columbo. Don't cry, snowman, not in front of me. Who'll catch your tears if you can't catch me, darling? If you can't catch me, darling. Don't cry, snowman, don't leave me this way. A puddle of water can't hold me close, baby. Can't hold me close, baby. I want you to know that I'm never leaving Cause I miss the snow Till death will be frozen Yeah, you are my home My home for all season So come on, let's go Let's go below zero And hide from the sun I'll love you forever But we'll have some fun Yes, let's hit the North Pole And live happily Please don't cry no tears Now it's Christmas, baby My snowman and me My snowman and me Baby Don't cry snowman Don't you fear the sun Who'll carry me without legs to run honey Without legs to run honey Don't cry snowman don't you shed a tear Won't oh, hear my secrets If you don't have ears, baby If you don't have ears, baby I want you to know That I'm never leaving Cause I miss the snow Till death will be freezing And you will go home Let's go, let's go below zero and hide from the sun I'll love you forever, but we'll have some fun Yes, let's hit the North Pole and live happily Please don't cry no tears now, it's Christmas, baby My snowman and me My snowman and me Give it up. Wow, Eloise, nice work. You know yeah, what? did you did you see what she did with it? She had the snowman hat and the shirt. She played the part perfectly well. Great yeah. job, Eloise. That's Great. my favorite. That's my favorite Sia song. How about you? Yes, that is awesome. Beautiful. And even Miss Monet said, Eloise, great job. We're so proud of you. So I love the chats, uh, the comments in the chats. Great job, you guys. This means a lot to everybody. Very so, positive. Can I introduce the next one? I want to please. remind everybody, so please make sure that you keep your mute on and really uh, avoid touching your uh, keypad at all, just because um, we don't want any writing on the screen or anything like that. Because if we see writing, unfortunately, we're going to have to remove you. So please make sure the Alway says is that we respect everybody. So with that, good, re good reminder. Okay, that good. let's go. Here we go. Um, she's a third grader and she's nine years old in Miss Gomez's class. She will recite two poems, The Lost Cat and Sick. Welcome to the stage, Elise Walters. The Lost Cat by Shel Silverstein. We can't find the cat. We don't know where she's at. Oh, where did she go? Does anybody know? Hey, let's go ask that walking hat. 
sick. I cannot go to school today, said little Piggy Ann McKay. I have the measles and the mumps, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. My mouth is wet, my throat is dry. I'm going blind in my right eye. My tonsils are as big as rocks. I've counted 16 chicken pox. Oh, and there's one more at 17. Don't you think my face looks green? My leg is cut, my eyes are blue. I might be in somatic flu. I cough and sneeze and gasp and choke. I'm sure my left leg is broke. My hip hurts when I move my chin. My belly button's caving in. My back is wrenched, my ankle's sprained. My appendix pains each time it rains. My nose is cold, my toes are numb. I have a sliver in my thumb. My neck is stiff, my voice is weak. I hardly whisper when I speak. My tongue is filling up my mouth. I think my hair is falling out, my elbow's bent. My spine ain't straight, my temperature is 108. My brain is shrunk, I cannot hear. There's a hole inside my ear. I have a hangnail and my heart is, what? What's that you say? You say today is Saturday? Goodbye, I'm going out to play. <laughs> hey, well, and I, and I know because Mrs. Gomez is uh, Eva's teacher too, that Elise is probably loves, loves going to school, but that poem is one of my favorites and, yeah, she did a great job of reciting it. And did you notice the special effect of the hat going yeah. across the stage? Was that a real cat, Mr. Malone? I, think I, it, it, cat. I don't know how they did that. It was amazing. That's special amazing. effects. Great job, Elise. That was you're awesome. Gonna, you're going to love this next one, Mr. Hampton. Oh, cool. His hobby is making comic books. He is witty. He has a witty sense of humor. Tonight, he will make a comedy stand-up. Welcome to the stage, Luke Skog. Good job, Luke. What do trees and dogs have in common? They both bark. <laughs> what is a baby's motto? When all else fails, cry, cry again. <laughs> what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. <laughs> Why were the chickens so tired? Because they'd been working around the cluck. <laughs> what do you call a line of rabbits jumping backwards? A receding hairline. <laughs> what did Darth Vader order at the Italian restaurant? Only one cannoli. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a pig with a dinosaur? Jurassic pork. <laughs> What do you call someone who gets angry when they don't get any bread? Lack toast intolerant. <laughs> Did you know there was a knight at the round table who collected taxes? His name was Surcharge. Yeah. Love it. I love that's my kind of humor right there, Mr. Hampton. You know how much we love to laugh. That was I do. That was fantastic. And I love the all the people laughing at it. Holy smokes. I found myself laughing harder than the the I was laughing. That was awesome. Luke, you're what's what that was funny. Yeah, you got an announcement here, Mr. Hampton. Okay. Let me let me move on to the I was laughing so hard, I think I forgot where we're at. So (laughs) okay, we have had so much fun tonight with so many talented students. Let's take a 10-minute break. To get more popcorn, and you know I love popcorn. We do. We'll have uh, we will have more students and mm-hmm. Desi Evans staff, excuse me, <coughs> to show their talents. Thank you for being part of this amazing night. So ten minute break.
Okay, Desi Evans Owls and Mr. Malone, are you ready to get back into this? We've got a whole second half. And Let's this, do this. Is fabulous. Hey, there's a lot of talent here. In, did I hear you say you've got a talented staff too? Yes, very talented staff. Wait till you see our next production. I'll read right. this. Get wait. You want to read that, Mr. Malone? Uh, let's go for it. Let's see. We've got uh, Desi Staff has a lot of talent, just like you said. Yep. With the guide of our awesome music teacher, Mr. Hernandez, Desi Evans Staff played the Steel Pans. Are they going to do that really, like right now? I think so, and I think you're going to love it. <laughs> Talented. Very, hey, you know, very can I give, talented. Give a little commercial, Mr. Hampton. What's that? Can I do a little commercial? Sure. Yeah. So, if anybody watching wants to join the Steel Point program, it's open to all students in all of Piot School District, fifth grade to twelfth grade. Even if you are in sixth grade now, you we could still join next year. Here's a little fun fact about the uh, Steel Pan. You want to hear it? Sure. It's the steel pan is, is this instrument is the only diatonic instrument invented in the 20th and 21st century, originating from Trin Trinidad and Tobago. It is hard to play this instrument and feel sad at the same time. I was very happy during that. Yes, yes. So fill out the link, um, put in the chat. So I think they're going to put a link in the chat. There it is right there. Fill it out if you're interested in, if you... If this is something you're interested in, all anybody can click on that link and let the, let you know. Or if you know any other student that could benefit from this experience, make sure you tell them about it. And, or feel free to contact the music teacher, Mr. Hernandez, for further questions. That's perfect. Mr. Uh, Malone, have you played the steel pan before? I've not been in a band. I have been in Mr. Hernandez's room and played on the uh, steel drums because they're yeah, I couldn't resist. Isn't it fun? I, I, I loved it. We had some time and he just sat down with a group of us. Miss Mayfield was in there. Um, I recognized quite a few of our staff that were there. They're back. Were, you in, were you in that video? I wasn't at this time. I, I, I don't know why, because I played before and I thought was I was good, but maybe I didn't make the final cut. The trial. Yeah, they missed the trial. You know, it's okay. You don't you yeah. can't do everything. It sure was fun, but they make steel those are those are fifty-five gallon drums that they make. They they uh you know, pound them just right, make the pans, and it's just a fantastic thing. And Mr. Hernandez is a lot of fun, too. So if you'd like Look, to get involved, please sign up. Let links in the chat. Know. Link is in the chat. What, well, let's, what more, what more old owls? Oh, can I do a shout out, too? Sure. I want to do a shout out to S. Malone, Malone Sarah M., and the crew, the Malone crew. They're watching, and I can't wait to see those three girls uh, performing on this stage. Yep, I love them. They're great. And and we missed Miss Sarah this year too. Recently had 
A baby, you have a new grand daughter. Number six, number six, Lena. Lena oh. Malone. She'll be a, she'll be an all star. That is perfect. How can I go on number ten? Let's go. Okay. How about this? They've been BFFs since they were a year old and nine months old. They love playing with baby dolls and and doing makeup and singing loud to descendant songs. Tonight, they will sing Into the Unknown from Frozen. I love that song. And welcome to the stage, Henley Cambitch and Caitlin Rogers. Look for trouble while others don't. There's a thousand reasons I should go about my day. And I know your whispers, which I wish would go away. Oh, 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 oh. You're not a voice, you're just leaning in my head. If I heard you, which I don't, it's spoken for I fear. Everyone I ever loved is here to many walls. I'm, I'm sorry, secret time, but I'm blocking out your calls. I've had my adventure, and, and I don't do something new. new. I'm not I'm afraid of what I'm risking, and I'll follow you into the end. Job, ladies. Fantastic. Wow. Into the unknown. That was so good, Mr. Hey, Malone. Question for you, Mr. Hampton. Sure. Who was your best friend when you were one year and nine months old? Man, I wish I can remember. I think <laughs> was it, wasn't it, Mr. Malone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I, 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 was, a, I was a little bit older, but uh, you were only one year and nine months. Exactly. Just a little older. The yeah, thing so, that I love is that you can tell when somebody puts uh, your the heart your heart into the song. And yeah, absolutely. You can tell they were and just singing their hearts out. So great. Sing, thank you for sharing that talent. That was awesome. We got another. We got more talent. There's more. Yeah, this next one is a ballet dancer who likes camping. She loves her dog, Alex, and her guinea pig, Jack, her other guinea pig, Bella. And crossed Rainbow Bridge. She crossed the Rainbow Bridge yeah, recently. Yeah. So tonight she will play Mary Had a Little Lamp. Welcome, Harper. Is it Kyo? Kyo. Yes. Let's go, Harper. Good job, Harper.
Nice job, Harper. Here we go. You don't, you don't, you don't hear Mary had a little lamb all the way to followed her to school one day very often. That was in the, like three verses in. That nicely done. That was full version right there, Mister. That was that was the whole deal. We did, we, that was very good. Nicely done. She's she's gonna she's gonna be somebody. She she's got some talent. Nice job. All what right. else do you have? Next one, I have one. Uh, this one is seven, and uh, and the other is five. One is seven, and the other the other is three five years old. So okay. They are Tom Perry fans. Mom has to play uh, has to play them their music at bedtime so that they can fall asleep. Tonight, okay. Ben Benjamin and Ezra Berg will sing and play the song "Won't Back Down" from Tom Perry. And Mr. Malone, uh, this is going to be good. Tom Perry. Right. Well, I won't back down. Well, I won't back down. You can stand me up to the toughest place, but I'll stand my ground. And I won't. Back down, in a world that keeps on pushing me around, but I stay in my ground, and I won't back down. Smoke, that was awesome. Yeah, they played their hearts out, you guys. Is, that was is that, I is want that, to, Mr. Malone, as you can tell, they got into that song and they were not backing down. Not backing down one bit. Was that Tom Petty or Tom Perry? I think it was Tom Pe Perry, but it was probably Petty, wasn't it? That sounds like Tom I don't, Perry. I don't, I, I recognize the song. I'm just not I sure who sings, who sings that. They did a great rendition of it. Well, I'm hearing from our very own Chris Diamond on the chat. That would be Tom Petty, Mr. Tom Bell. Petty. You know, I, I knew it was Tom Petty when I heard the first the first come out of their mouth. <laughs> that, that and my... and you know these boys, they are just a delight. They're always smiling and they're so respectful. And I love to see them have a great time. So nice. That's, that's, that's the owl, the nice owl way, way to go. Yep. Hey, we got like the sunglasses. Yeah, the sunglasses really set it off. Nice job. And those those guitars have been around too. You betcha. Hey, we got another ice skater. All right, let's hear it. An ice skater. She loves spending time with horses and her dog Penny. Her love and dedication for music is teaching herself to play guitar. Wow. wow. Good friend and future veterinarian. Wow. She will wow. play Phelan's Return on the piano. Welcome to Lua Lopez. Do it, Lua. Nice work.
Wow. Amazing. Lua, that was amazing. So I watched her play last year and she has gotten so much better. I don't know much about piano, but I know that when you're playing it, when you cross arms like that, you're really getting good. Yep. And she was crossing over big time. Mm -hmm. One thing that I was cool, Mr. Malone, is I love that if she's teaching herself to play the guitar, like you said in the introduction. Yeah, I wouldn't lie to you about that. That's yeah, the truth. I'd love to see her play the guitar. That was fabulous. And her mom's doing a great job putting all this together, too. So good job. Yeah, you know, you, it was a good time to give a shout out to Carla, isn't it? Right we now? should. Can we yes. give it up? Clap to yourself. But our very own Carla Lopez, Lua's mom, has done this whole thing along with several others from our amazing PTA. So let's give them a big hand right now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Job, you guys. This would not happen without their amazing effort. So thank you, Carla. And just so you know, I'm in my office right now and she's right around the corner. Good job, Carla. <laughs> so nice work. Hey, right. now what, what else do you get lined up for tonight? I think we're on to number 14. How about this? Yep. She's been singing since the moment she could talk. She has never had any singing lessons and has an electric musical taste compared to kids her age. At the drop of a hat, she can easily sing Frank Sinatra, Etta James, Aretha Franklin. She loves country music, R&B, and soft rock, and from the 70s. Tonight, she will sing Heart of Your World from the Little Mermaid movie. Welcome to the stage, Mia Jamie. And what's it galore? You don't think my bobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. In your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down a what's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world. What would I? If I could live out of these waters, what would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? Bet you on land, they understand that they don't reprimand their daughters. Bright young women, sick of swimming, ready to stand. I'm ready to know what the people Asking questions and get some answers. What's a fire and what is it? What's the word? Burn. When's it my turn? When I love, love to explore the shore above. above. Out of the sea. Wish I could be. of that world. Wow. That was phenomenal. special. Phenomenal. Make sure that, you see on the chat. That was that, talent, you guys. Great job. That was special. Holy smokes, that was electric and eclectic. 
you know what was amazing to me, Mr. Malone, is that I could see in the background that do you know all these performers actually performed outside under the covered area? I saw their, the wind looked like it was blowing. <laughs> Before Mia started, the music was going through, or the wind was going through her hair. Uh, it, it was amazing. Great it's song. a good, I thought it was an effect that you put with the make their hair flow like it was, and like she was really sense. under the sea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, Little Mermaid was really the predecessor to uh, Frozen, in my mind. Yes, yes, that's yeah. true. Both yeah, great, great. yeah. If you're a fan of Little Mermaid, you're going to be a fan of Frozen. Exactly. That's just a given. Nice job. Yeah. 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 Hey, she did great. You know, uh, number 15, she likes to see herself as a cooperative and creative person who thinks out of the box and challenges herself. Tonight, she will play the theme song of the Pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean. Which way do you say it? I think it's Caribbean. Yeah. Well, she's going to play the theme song from the Pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean with her eyes covered. Nice. Welcome to the job. stage, Kayla Smith. Kaya. Good job, Kaya. She did that. Blindfolded. Blindfolded. You know, we've been wearing a lot of masks, but on our mouth, but we are doing on the my mask, let alone over my eyes, Mr. Eyes. Oh, Holy that, that was amazing. That was amazing. I'm gonna take that off because I can't. And she did it completely blindfolded and sounded amazing, right? She was, it was just like flawless. I bet it didn't sound like she hit a single wrong thing. Nope, it was perfect. We have one more performer, Mr. Malone. Oh, it, about it? It's yeah, this is this last one. Yeah, it's gone by really fast. Oh, man, this has been fun. Thank you so much for inviting me. I just love hanging around with a bunch of cool owls. Please wait till next year, okay? We've got big plans for you, big guy. All, All right. right. So number 16, our last performance of the night. He is so kind and warm-hearted. Tries to always include everyone. Oh, this sounds like Mr. Anderson. And he also is really funny. His hobby is uh, cubing and scootering. Did I say that right? And tonight he's going to try to solve four Rubik's cubes in one minute. Well, I'm, I'm, it's, if it's a Rubik's cube, it's cubing. In one, it's cubing. Sorry, did I say cubing? cubing. You said cubing. Yep, I, I get it now that you said Rubik's cube. Four of them in a minute. Okay, I couldn't do one in an hour. Okay, and he's doing four in a minute. Okay, well, four. To the stage, our very own Anderson Oberg. Four. Four in a minute. I'm going to solve four three by three root skips in under one minute. And I'm down, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. 
That's two. Not much time left, not much time left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Do it. Oh, yeah! I did it. Yay! Hey, hey, hey. I do it like Justin. Yes. Let's go. Yes, he did it. That was really good. Now what? Alone, did you see things just flying everywhere? I mean, he had he had every finger flying all over the place, and that was just awesome. And you, you know, when he didn't have the two done, when when he didn't do two in the first thirty seconds, I didn't think he was going to be able to do it. He panicked a little, I think. No, he did. He just covered nicely. Just amazing, and he was flipping them around like crazy. And so, good job, Anderson. Way to go, Anderson. Would you like to uh, close us up there, Mister? Hey, um, I want to thank everyone for letting me join you tonight. Who shared and all of the talented owls who shared their amazing pounds with us tonight thank you so much the show will be available online in two more days for a limited time so be sure to check the desi evans pta.com website and the desi evans pta facebook page to find the link and for more details and let's close off with your fantastic principal giving you a big gall good night and thanks so much for talented owls it was a fantastic owl star show for sure and congratulations to carla for another successful event Thank you so much. And did you guys know that I literally called Mr. Malone about 10 minutes before we got started? And I said, listen, friend, he and I did a lot of college work together too, um, doctorate work. And I said, how about we be co-host? Let's do it. And he goes, okay, send me everything electronically. And he put it together as he was getting out of his car from a busy day's work right into his house. And he joined us tonight. So Mr. Malone, we appreciate you so much. Well, thank you so much. And not even a speck of talent compared to what we saw tonight. But well, boy, those guys were impressive. It gave me goosebumps and I love it. And I really want to build on this, you guys. And I want to be able to invite Mr. Malone back next year. So Miss Carla, you can hear me outside my office. We're going to also, we want to double this next year because this is just part of our talent. I know we have so much more at our school, but I'm just so proud of our owls tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, uh, Ms. Carla and our PTA for putting this on. And most importantly, thank you guys for being such a great audience, for being so encouraging. And just, I'm so proud to be an owl. Have a good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Carla, you're amazing. <laughs>